You know what time it is. It's bourbon hunting time. We're up here traveling across the state looking at different bottles that are in different areas. First thing that caught my eye though. Yeah, this is the kind of fun that we have in our Discord. Just making fun of some of the bad juice in the world. As always, we have a great time, but sometimes on these bourbon hunting trips, you see some prices that just don't make any sense. $70 for Henry McKenna, and it's at every store I walk into. An overpriced by five here. Look at these. You can't even touch that with a five foot pole. Next up, we got some of the Calumets that I can't vouch for, but if you're a fan, good for you. C921, a couple year old, but I mean, for $99, that's a whole pass. Back here at Bottles and uh, just watch a guy walk over here and absolutely wipe out this entire section of Knob Creek 18. Um, possibly just to resell it, but even at that price, I don't know how he's going to resell it. That's, that's pretty expensive. Um, anyway, just checking out Bottles. Wanted to stop in here and grab something real quick. You know, just had to stop in and show off all these bottles that are shelf sitters that all of y'all were commenting last video about. Oh man, I can't even see that in my state, this and that. Well, they're here in South Carolina and there's tons of them, so come get them. Anyway, just trying to figure out what I'm going to get for, for the guys this, this afternoon. Trying to pick out a bottle for the fellas. We're going to go with one of these Anita's Choice that I've been telling everybody to grab. This is a great bottle to have on the shelf. Six grain, made here in South Carolina. Definitely worth picking up. And I think the other bottle I'm going to go with is this Green River Weeded. They were going to go with this one as well. All right. All right, guys, it's time to give away this bottle. There was 1,800 of you that entered to win this. And it is a beautiful bottle. I mean, single barrel, barrel strength rye from Old Forester, 126.6 out of Warehouse K on floor two. It's a good one to have. So we took all these names and we put them into a number generator and out came one number, one lucky winner. Next month, we will do another giveaway of something just as special. The winner is, drum roll please. All right, this guy, Ryan McNeil. Congrats, I will get your shipping information and we will get this bottle out to you. Thank you and on to the video. Whistle pick, 10 year store pick. Check that out. Whistle pig 10 year store pig, baby. Whistle pig 18. There you go. There's a pappy hanging out. $1,000. Thomas H. Handy for $69.99. It's beautiful. Old Rip, 79. Huh? No, I, I do bourbon YouTube channel. Yeah, man. Good deal. Anything in particular y'all are hunting for today? Just the usuals, man. Shopping around, yeah. Price, oh man, no way. Well, there's one. I wish that was a little bit better of a price on that rhetoric. This guy just bought Jack Daniels ten as soon as I walked over here. Crazy. Blue Run. Evan Williams single barrel for sixty nine. That's gone now. Bullet single barrel barrel pick and a bullet barrel strength. Check that out. Fifty nine ninety nine. That's not bad at all. Oh boy, what did these guys get into? Yellowstone store pick, 109 proof. Hand selected by the train station. George George Remus single barrel store pick. Check that out, 59.99. Jack Daniels single barrel barrel pick. Check that out, that's awesome. The Rebel Yell, Connor, these are not bad dude, for 49.99. Rebel Yell Cast Strength, 120 proof. What is that? What is that? <laughs> what is that? Oh my goodness. <coughs> Private Barrel Selection, Single Barrel Nulch. This is what you have to get. You have to get this. You have to get this right here. I can't believe you walked past that. Heaven's Door, 10 year, check that out. 89.99. Not a bad price. Old Elk Four Grain, Bowman Brothers Port and Small Batch, B522, Elijah Craig, a couple of Whistle Pigs, the American Fatted Malt, Barrels, K 
Garrison Brothers, which I've heard some negative things about. Such an impressive selection over here. What did old boy walk out of the store with today? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This is a baby. Happy boy. Happy, Happy boy. Life. Happy life. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, I'm telling you, I should pick up one of those someday. I really should. The Uncle Nearest. What else? Oh, Green River. Yep. Still want to pick up a bottle of that Elijah Craig. $22 and, oh, no black cap. No black cap. I still want to be able to pick up. An Elijah Craig? Yeah. 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 That price is just. Yeah, $74. That's pretty much, you won't find it much cheaper than that. Like maybe $69, but not much cheaper. Go with all faction. Contradiction. Contradiction, yeah. When these were made by MGP, they were some of the best MGP juice you could find, for sure. Limited 72, what is that? That's interesting, let me know about that. All these blue runs, Elijah Craig, Larson, Stranahan, Evans for 10, Will it pot still. What do y'all know about this? Stranahan single malt, extra Viejo, is this a, uh, is this worth it or is this just jungle juice? Let me know. $79.99. With an eight year, 11 month time frame on it. I don't think I've heard of that one. Yeah, it's one of my, one of my last videos. You didn't watch it? Some bitch. <laughs> Fusion series in Bardstown and obviously the Vantage and Dovetail. Another Knob Creek. Why are you skipping over the Penelope? You know what this means? That means you're about to get slapped. So you better shut up. You got your Calumets here. These are all really reasonably priced, from I can tell. A little neatest choice up here in the upstate. Yeah, Jack Daniels single barrel barrel proof. Check that out. Some more high west stuff. The guys actually flew out to Colorado. Yeah. Um, the old soul cast drink has been really popular. Um, Everybody likes the old soul cast drink, especially the single barrels. Like, they're they're good. They're really good for the price, and the proof is high, which is what somebody who's spending seventy dollars on a bottle, unless it's some big name brand, they're going for for like higher proof most of the time. Like, right. They're not they're not spending a hundred dollars on a bottle that's. I've, I've yet to pick up an old soul store pick though, even though everybody screams at me every time I, I hold them. They, I try, so I, again, I'm not very knowledgeable in bourbon. That's something I'm having to pick up as I go. Um, but a lot of the guys in the upstate love that I'm familiar with and a lot of them love it. Upstate Speakeasy collaboration, Knob Creek Rye. I have a bottle of the 115 proof Knob Creek Rye. It's really good. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to support us here and join the Discord. We're building a great community over there. And as always, Bourbon Hunter out. <laughs>